Hello and welcome to Exiles. Today I want to talk about my new favorite unique in Path of Exile, which is kind of an off-meta build maker's paradise, and that is Replica Dragon Fang. This was created and added this league thanks to Playlife, who won the hardcore solo cell found ruthless boss kill event. And this is the event he contributed to the or this is the item he contributed. It can roll any active skill in the game. It can even roll Spell Slinger and Arcanist Brand because I believe they have an active tag to it, which I found out myself. I identified and found those myself. But you'll see if you press Alt, it says Fireball to Volcanic Fisher. This is not necessarily an alphabetical list. I'm guessing this is basically the first skill they've ever added in the game up to the most recent skill they've added to the game is my guess is the order of this because Fireball, I would think, would be an early gem they've added to the game and Volcanic Fisher was pretty recent. That's my guess. I'm not sure. But the point is, it comes with a random plus three, which is very powerful for basically every spell build that scales on gem levels, minion build, you name it, or some attack builds like Elemental Hit, Toxic Rain, Caustic Arrow for some examples. It isn't great for most other attack builds, like you're not getting much value out of Cleave, you're not getting much value out of something like, I don't know, Lightning Strike. You get a little bit of flat damage, a little bit higher, harder hit, but it's not competitive for an amulet slot. This is valuable for gem level scaling builds where you get extra damage out of it. On top of that, it comes with all res, reservation efficiency, and items have reduced attribute requirements. These things are actually just generically valuable stats that work for every single build in the game. In my opinion, the item reduced attribute requirement is saving you somewhere between 15 to 20 of every single stat. Like, for example, if you need to get to 150 five decks for grace and you're trying to force in 155 strength for determination say you're trying to go for both those attributes and you're an in base character which i wouldn't really recommend to be honest with you but that is still going to give you some value there it's a lot of just generically useful stats on top of having plus three this thing is in my opinion very powerful and it is very cheap it's a pretty common drop and essentially the way it works and i've identified i've gambled a lot of these let's be honest i've gambled them because i like IDing it and seeing if i make money or no money and essentially the way it works is 90 percent of the skills even though if even if they're good or skills that could be viable if they're not a top one percent play rate skill like above one percent of the player base is playing it it's a it's below a divine it cost it's very cheap and plus three is a very strong amulet so I would check this out if you're playing an off-meta build. It could make you have a lot more power to it. And not only that, the fun part about it is you drop it on the ground. You have the ability to sell it to somebody like me who's a degenerate gambler who wants to ID it to see if they make money. Or you can ID it yourself. It's kind of like a watcher's eye where there's a little bit of an unknown factor like, oh, it could be good. Let's pull out the ID scroll and see what we get. So I have three of these here just to demonstrate this. And then I'm also going to demonstrate how a Divine Orb works with the amulet and how Vendor Recipe works with the amulet. Because all of these are pretty important if you are planning to mess around with this amulet at all, if you're kind of curious about the mechanics. So we ID one, we get Shrapnel Ballista. Obviously, that's not very high value. This would not sell on the market for much money at all. Essentially, this is fodder for a 3 to 1 recipe because 3 to 1 recipe can get you an entirely brand new amulet with a brand new roll. So we'll go for again, we get Tectonic Slam, another attack skill, not valuable. Each of these have cost me a divine to buy the unid one, but I buy it anyways, because it's kind of fun just to just roll the dice and see what we get. Now, granted, Devouring Totem. Okay, so we got completely cleaned out. Nothing of any value here in terms of will it sell on the market. That being said, I can go over to the vendor. If I have three non-valuable ones and I can roll the dice again, if you three to one it, it will give you a random roll of the amulet and a random chance at a good thing. We get flesh and stone. Now granted, not good. And you'll see here, if we look at all of our amulets here, we have explosive trap, flesh and stone, Armageddon brand. Now Armageddon brand and explosive trap are both skills that would be strong and would benefit from this amulet. But since they're not popular, they're, they're off meta skills, they don't sell for much on the market either. So if you wanted to buy this, you could probably pick it up for 100 C, 120. But I, as the filthy degenerate gambler I am, I'm going to vendor them again to go for one more chance. And then we'll do a divine orb just to showcase that it keeps rolling in the range of what's possible. Storm rain, that's not valuable in terms of its attack base skill, doesn't scale with it. And then if you divine orb this, like you're thinking, oh, I have a plus three of the thing I want. Let me try to get the roll range of res, attribute requirements and reservation fishes. And then we try to roll those. Well, don't do that because divine orbs will literally change the entire gem as well because it's rolling that entire range of possible skills. The Peewee has hundreds of skills. So there's a lot of possibilities. I obviously just wasted a bunch of money there because I like to gamble and ID them. But the main point of this video is if you're playing a skill that scales with gem levels, there's a good chance, as long as you're not a meta skill, 
that this would be a massive upgrade for your build. I highly recommend it. I'm going to probably fit, fit it into a lot of the builds I'm going to be playing going forward because I like to try off meta skills, skills that aren't necessarily super popular. And this is a awesome pickup. I just wanted to highlight it because I think it's my new favorite amulet just because of how much power it gives to people playing off meta builds. If your build isn't popular, there's very powerful items you can pick up for virtually no cost. See, the example I'm going to give you is if you're looking at a meta skill, if you're looking at, for example, you're going to go over here and you're going to say, I want to look at something that costs a decent amount of money or something that's like a popular build. And I would say I'm going to go Shockwave Totem. I'm pretty sure Shockwave Totem will be semi-valuable because Shockwave Totem is very strong this league. It's good for Sanctum. Excuse me. I can see a lot of people playing this gem and it's 22 Divines. Massive, massive cost. It holds this value because it's the amulet's strong enough to be worth this. That being said, there's a lot of other skills that can use it and will benefit a lot, just like Shockwave Totem will, but they're just not popular. So for example, if I was going to go to one of the ones I deleted, Armageddon Brand, say you wanted to play Armageddon Brand, you search that up and you see, oh, 50 C. You can literally get a plus three amulet. It, and I'm saying this is, I think it's like 90% plus of the random spell skills that you might be playing on whatever build it is you're trying out. This could be a massive upgrade for you. And I'm excited to include it into more of my own builds just because of uh, it's cheap, it's affordable, and there's, there's a lot on the market. There is a fairly common item. And just based on how the economy works with certain... Uh, supply and demand and supply or slash demand is so heavily based on a lot of people all trying to do the same thing, copying this build or that build. It just opens up your, your possibility to get a really sweet amulet upgrade. And I'd highly recommend checking this out for you if you're making an off meta build. I just want to share that. I'm excited about this amulet. I like it a lot. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. As always, thanks for watching Exiles. Take care and peace out.